Well, the cards are showing it's Tavon with, and I'm sure you're going to be brave for you. That's absolutely minging and show oxygen. God, we listen to that. I'll call you a one, Nice Far, August and Nish, and Anna Glum, Professor Green, come to talk to. Come on. Next time I'm with her, I'm putting her down. How are you anyway? I'm good, thank you. How are you both doing? Good. Yeah, good. You brought us the sun. Wow, this is as good as we get in Ireland. Packed so. it in my suitcase. Yeah, thank you very much. Two times. You didn't do Teen so you had your own gig. What was that? Uh, that was in Kingston, uh, Beggar's Banquet. It was the first, we actually sold the first copies of the new CD single. And I said, you know, being a nice guy, that I would sign everyone's copies who ever bought them. I didn't really account for how many we were going to sell, so I didn't end up getting home until half three. So I'm in a little bit of pain right now, hence the, hence the glasses. This lady's driving me crazy. She blows on cold like the AC. I just can't figure out. Your road to superstardom is immense. It's proper rap battles, open mic. Let's give us a, give us a taste of how you came to be. Wow, it was a long journey. I started rapping when I was 18. I fell into it by accident. All my mates have been making music for years and I was at my mate Cor's house and they were all freestyling. And then I got put on the spot. So for a joke, I spat a lyric, went completely red in the face, like I don't ever want to do that again. And they were all like, what, you can rap? I was like, nah, leave that alone. But I, I slowly got into it, messed around with it for a while, started battling, then Mike Skinner saw me. Yeah. Um, saw me win a battle, fortunately. And yeah, I signed to his record label not long after that. His record label went under before my album come out, done the independent thing for a little while. Then I met Lily. And the rest, as they say, it is history. <laughs> She's lovely. Pretty ridiculous. Now, I'm yeah. um, uh, alive till I'm dead. Yep. That's very optimistic, obviously. Well done. Yeah, well, it's just saying, you know, as opposed to just stating the obvious, it's just an old to kind of live in life while you're alive. A lot of people just plod through it, and that's not something I want to do. In the last couple of years, I've had a few things happen that, that made me aware of just how quickly life can pass. Um, but not to bring the tone down too much, you know. Yeah, no, so it's I... just, it's a, it's a positive message in there. Uh, hey, listen, live till I'm dead. So far, it's been Whopper. We expect only more immense things for Professor Green in 2010. And thanks for talking. No problem. Thank you all very much.